everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to keep your baby cool during summer. This week it's absolutely boiling in the UK, it's about 30 degrees which is like absolutely unheard of and we are loving the weather but keeping the little ones cool has been a bit tricky. So first of all is what to dress your baby in. Now you might be able to see Finn is wearing a romper today and um, he looks a little bit like a hillbilly. I joked that I was going to get him a piece of straw and a hat um, because this usually has a t-shirt that goes underneath it but I've literally just stripped that layer off and it's allowing him to keep cool. It's a breathable fabric, it's cotton and it just allows the air to circulate over his skin. They say in a temperature of about 16 to 20 degrees, which is the recommended temperature for your baby's room at night, they can wear two layers, so sort of like a vest and a sleep suit, and then in a sleeping bag, I suppose three layers. Um, so try and remove a layer of every sort of like three or four degrees above from that. So at 30 degrees today, we are bare minimum. Also, don't be afraid to strip your baby off to your nappy. If you're at home, just strip him off to the nappy and let her have a little play. Even better if you've got some like cool water or a cool towel they can lie on a little paddling pool that you can sit with them in and um, that is absolutely perfect so the fewer layers the better. So the next tip is when you're going out and about so I always put sun cream on Finn and I have done from the very start when it started to be sunny when he was about three months old. I know there is some research that says you shouldn't put sun cream on babies until they're six months old because their skin can absorb the toxins or the chemicals from the sun cream and um, you might want to do your own research on that but I always figured that as there was no viable alternative and it's impossible to keep babies completely out of the sun and um, I would rather take that risk and make sure that it was protected from UV rays so we use the child's farm um, roll stick on sun cream and it really works for us and um, but by all means try a couple there's lots out there um, and I always make sure that I put it on at the very start of the day and then I reapply in the middle of the day usually when I'm changing his nappy in terms of out and about with the pram, we have a sunshade from uh, Mother Care that we use. I know quite a lot of people have the parasols, but they have got quite a bad review in terms of having to move them when you move to different sides of the street and the sun's on the different side. Um, so the sunscreen works really well for us. It was about £15. And um, What I would say is it works well when he's sleeping because it blacks it out completely and it makes sure that it's still cool in there so it's not trapping hot air and um, what they do advise is that you don't put muslins or blankets over the pram because it traps in the hot air and it can actually get really hot and stuffy in there for your baby but it's not ideal when we're out and about because he wants to see and if he's awake and um, he likes to be able to see out of the pram so I'm yet to find a perfect solution to that hi um, but that's the best one that we've found so far. To be honest, our pram, our, the Jules Day 2, has quite a big sunshade. And I know the Mums and Papas Armadillo has a really good sunshade as well. Um, so check out um, a pram with a, a large sunshade if you are shopping for one at the moment and you're still pregnant. Always carry a hat with you. Um, their little heads have even less protection than the rest of their body. So make sure that you always have a hat and a change of clothes just in case they get a bit hot and sticky. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about was night time, keeping your baby's bedroom cool. So ideally, like I said, your temperature should be between 16 and 20 degrees for the bedroom, but keeping it that at this weather is really, really difficult. So what we do is we keep our curtains closed during the day and our windows up there shut. It's about 22 degrees in the house and it's 30 degrees outside, so letting that warm air in actually does more harm than good. And then we use the Grow Company Grow Egg to guide us as to how hot it is in the room. Last night it was about 27.6 degrees. So the Grow Egg is a really good little device. It basically glows um, blue if it's too cold, it blows it glows yellow if it's just dry or red if the temperature is too warm. Um, so last night Finn literally just slept in a nappy because it was about 27 degrees up there. So it's a really good indicator of what the temperature is in your baby's room and you can dress them accordingly. Which me leads me on to my next point. So at 27 degrees Finn actually just slept in a nappy and what I did was I gave him a muslin to cuddle as he was going to sleep for a bit of comfort and then in the middle of the night when the temperature dropped slightly I just covered him up with a cellular blanket. So make sure that you're dressing your baby appropriately for bed and don't necessarily put them in the sleeping bags if it is too warm because they could get too warm while you're asleep and overheat and you're not there to monitor them all the time in the night. So I also just wanted to say that midweek because it was so hot we went out and bought this cotton sheet from Jojo Mama and Baby. This is 6 to 18 months I think and um, but we figured it didn't really matter how long it was because it just fits in the top of it anyway and it's a really thin cotton sheet they also do a muslin version and um, but all it meant was that when he was going to bed in just a nappy in the middle of the night when the temperature did eventually drop he was getting a bit cold 
so this is perfect because it's just like you would wear abroad as an adult you just put like a simple cotton sheet over you um, and it's exactly the same thing without having to put blankets on him which are still too thick or his one tog sleeping bag so yeah this has really helped this week another little trick we used in the bedroom was we bought a simple desk fan from tesco it was about 12.99 and we put a bowl of cold water with ice in it in front of it that meant that instead of just circulating warm air the bowl of water created a cold air stream that the fan could then um blast out cold air throughout the room and it really worked well just make sure that you don't point the fan directly at your baby because obviously that could get a little bit chilly so we just pointed it slightly away from the rest of the room and it really circulated cold air you can also buy cool packs and cool pads to lie your baby on at night we haven't actually used these yet but they are freely available um, on sites like amazon and stuff like that you can also get them for pets if you have like warm cats and dogs in this weather um, they're literally just gel pads that you either put in the freezer or they have um, natural gel in them and you can lie your baby on them to cool them down. We always carry with us when it's hot and sunny um, a bottle of cooled boiled water and give him sips throughout the day. Little and often tends to be the key with this um, just to keep them hydrated because if you think about it if you were just drinking milkshakes all day as food you would need like a refreshing drink as well so this works really well. He gulps it down. Yesterday he had about six ounces of water in total. The other key thing is to keep an eye on your baby's wet nappies. So babies should be having about four wet nappies a day as a minimum. If they have any less than that, you should probably um, get some medical attention or just double check and make sure that they're okay and they're not too dehydrated. Signs of dehydration include no wet nappies, floppiness, overtiredness, uh, lack of response, all that sort of thing. So, and it can be quite scary. So just make sure that you keep a close eye on your baby in this heat. Try and stay out of the sun from 11 till 3. I know that's like absolutely so strange because you want to get out in the sunshine, but the best thing for your baby is that they're just not in the heat of the day. Um, we also invested in a UV tent that you can put up in your garden. So it has to be UV to protect from the sun's rays and it also has some coated on it so that it doesn't get too hot inside the tent. But it just means that we can literally have him out in the garden in the shade we can all enjoy some time in the sun together. I would monitor how hot it got in the tent, even though it does have reflecting panels on it, um, just because it can still get a little bit warm in there. So make sure that you're monitoring them at all times. So that's it, guys. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you can keep your little one cool in this gorgeous weather, but still have a lovely time. Let me know if there's any tips that I've missed on the comment section down below. Subscribe and click the little alarm notification and you will get a notification every time. I post. I hope you enjoyed this. If there are any other videos that you'd like to see, please let me know and I will see you very soon. Bye!